hi everyone and welcome back to my channel it's a girl clever jupiter with another cooking video i hope you guys are having a wonderful evening because i'm about to have a great one what i'm gonna prepare for today is some pop choy here you have some lovely pop choy i'm gonna put a little bit twist to it right i'm gonna use this with some fish right so i'm gonna show you i'm gonna debone these sliced fish I'm showing you guys how I clean this up also and get this done. So the ingredients that I will be using for today as follow is some escallions right here. I have some carrots. I have some garlics. I have some onions, some tomatoes. Here I have some rosemary, some fresh thyme, some okra, a sweet pepper. Of course, we have our scotch bunny pepper. I also have some pimento berry some black pepper right here i also have the fish season in the maggi i also have some all purpose jerk season i have some salt i have some vinegar that i'm going to use to wash my fish with i have the all purpose season in the maggi i'm going to use some butter here is the butter that i'm going to use today some gold seal butter i'm going to cook a piece of dasheen to go with this meal isn't this a wonderful dashing peeps? And a piece of white yam and also I'm going to put a piece of yellow yam in it. So guys, as I'm about to do today, right, is to go ahead and get this fish deboned, cut into the ices. So stay tuned for that, okay? So guys, we're going to move on to all I'm going to debone these fish these sliced fish as you see these are some wonderful sliced fish right here i'm going to deep bone and cut them into cubes fry these up so let us go ahead and do so but first and foremost let us go ahead and wash pre-wash this fish i got a tail in this i'm going to try to see what i can do so go ahead and Debone that. Here I have my vinegar that I'm using to wash my fish right here. What I'm going to do is to let my vinegar sit in this water while I clean the fish to cut away some of the rawness. We are scaling the fish. You can use your knife or the fork to go ahead and do so. I will be clicking, putting the link, sorry, on how I, if you don't watch a previous video, how to scale these fish wonderful and fast. And then, be using the knife to get these all scales of this fish right here. Don't worry, guys, I will be cleaning up by me here after. I found through using the fork to rub off all these scales peeps. Drop in the comment section if you know about this trick and let me know how to get fish scale fast and easy this way. And I like to normally use a knife also to run it back over. Or any little spine like here, and with the fine scales that hasn't been taken off yet. Guys, I'm trying to eat vegetables, so I'm trying to incorporate meat within my vegetables, as I was saying before, guys. Yes. You know that healthy way is the best way. And when you have kids, you have to try your best to incorporate the fruits and vegetables as much as I can. So she gets accustomed to it. Yes. That's what I'm doing. Running back over it. And the third one. I have this little piece right here. Rubbing off with the the fork 
rubbing this off with my four tips. guys are taking notice of everything that I'm doing by cleaning up this fish in here is okay in here is pretty good as you see it's the process is quick and fast when you use a fork you still you gotta use your knife, you know, but you know the process is quick and fast, it rubs it off faster. Use a knife to go over it. Once more, as you can tell, you can see right here. some nice fish there is some quality meat of this fish today these fish are so expensive the sliced fish are super expensive Look at the scales are coming off, peeps. The scales are coming off. I'm trying to try my best to cut off the rice and try to eat more ground food, more homegrown food, right? Because the rice, us Jamaicans, we eat a lot of rice. We're gonna look about a piece of chicken, rice or chicken. We're gonna um, steam our fry fish rice most of the time. So I'm trying to cut out of that mentality and that way of life and try to get out of the box that uh, I'm used to and get my, my spirit, my spirit in awakening more, right? And my energy. And my vibration to be right with the right food because how, we, how are we gonna align this is unwanted how are we are gonna go ahead and align our energy when we're not putting in the right food in our body we have to put in the right food fruits and you know vegetables in our body right to ensure that we're getting stuff that can preserve our body and maintain everything functional in our system properly. And they just throw this one in there. This one needs more this fish this one here needs more attention than the others. some running water so if you guys don't have vinegar to use if you do have lime juice you can always use lime juice to also wash off your fruits and vegetables okay I put a bag I didn't went ahead and put my fish in my sink if you're wondering I place a plastic bag right here right right so what we're going to do is to go over the fish once more. You want to go over your fish more than one time, right? And shake, ensure that you're all the skin off. So we don't want to fry these. Lovely fish. Let's place this right here. Lovely fish. 
with skins on them, right? So we're gonna rinse these off once more. This is off the fish. I'm gonna show you that I'm getting all the scales. I want these scales out of my container in right here. I'm going to use my knife this time. As you see, you see what I'm saying, guys? When you use the fork, it's quick and easy. I'm just double checking, peeps. As you see, I'm double checking. I'm using the tip of the knife. Down. Just a little scale that I'm getting right here of it. Put it is on my container. I know that this one's supposed to be perfectly fine. Check it. Perfectly fine. Going on to this one. Okay, I just love to double check, right? Make sure that my meats are all clean and lovely for preparation. Preparing nice food, taking the time out to prepare your meals is very important, right? And you, if your mind is right, you can do anything. You get the perfect eating meal and you will be so full without eating a lot of food. So, we're going to rinse these off once more with some more vinegar. Just to sterilize and cut away the rawness once more. What I'm gonna do right now is to go ahead and get some paper towels to pat dry these. Here's my paper towel peeps to ensure that my meat is not wet. This is dry when seasoning up these meats and cutting these up. So I'm gonna spread this on my cutting board so these skin dry. Oh, I'm gonna pat dry leaves. showing that my container is also dry all the way up also see the amount of water that is look at this lovely fish right here isn't this a beauty i know that it's a really good beauty to look at. Just letting all these fish soak up the water. You must always dry your meat before you season it so the seasons will soak in it more better. If you're familiar with my videos, I always tell peeps to do that. So we're gonna get a sharper knife, peeps. I'm getting a sharper knife. So what I'm gonna do right now, sorry about that knife, is to go ahead and debone these fish. So I'm gonna cut downwards. 
Look at this, peeps. Isn't this is lovely? Look at this piece. Because I'm going to place this in my pot shawl, right? I'm going to fry these up and place these in my pot shawl. Here you go. That's in some cubes. They don't have to be small. They don't have to be big. Just trying to deepen because the main reason why I'm being innovative with this meal also is because of my daughter together. I'll come some to fruits and vegetables. And showing that she's getting all the food food groups. Right. This is unwanted. Look at this peeps. So we're gonna go ahead and cut these up and see you guys in a few when I'm through. So guys, I have successfully went ahead and deboned this lovely fish there wasn't much bone who knows about this type of fish which is size fish you have only these bones that are within them here are the bones that i got all of them so if you guys are wondering if i waste the fish no i did not waste the fish so we're gonna go ahead and season up this fish so i'm gonna use my maggie fish season pull in the packet I'm going to go ahead and pour this all over the fish because you know that I have to season the fish also, right? A better taste the fish. I'm going to use some of the all-purpose season right here. I'm going to use some of the jerk season. This is an all-purpose joint season, if you're wondering. And of course, we need some black pepper. I'm gonna mix this all up. Wish you guys could have to smell the aroma that is coming from these seasons. She guys could have smelled this right now. This is so good. So this is how I'm gonna season up my fish. I'm gonna put it in my fridge to be marinated for approximately half an hour to an hour. So we're gonna move on to the process on how I'm gonna cut up my pop choy or pop chow we will see in Jamaica and for preparation for this lovely meal okay so stay tuned so yes peeps we're gonna move on to the process and how we're gonna go about cleaning up these lovely pop chow properly and cut these up i'm gonna show you guys how i'm gonna do this so normally growing up i always see my mom do this to get some salt Pour over your vegetables to ensure that I think it's to sterilize the vegetables. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wash these off before I start cutting them up. So what you want to do is to go ahead and pull these off. Oh, I have my clean container right here as you see. And wash these off. Ensuring that you're washing all your leaves off peeps. You want to wash these lovely thick leaves off. Look at that peeps. These are some lovely vegetables. Washing all the leaves off. So if, if there's any, any hidden insects on the leaf, you know that you have your running water to wash it off and the salt helps to clean off these lovely leafy vegetables. So ensure guys you always clean your meat and your vegetables properly so we don't get any foreign bacteria in our systems. So, you know, these vegetables. You can 
I'm gonna have some more salt. This is how I see my mom do it. So I continue the process on cleaning out my vegetables. I'm just getting used to eating vegetables, unfortunately. Oh my god, I'm so bad when it comes on to my health, but I'm trying my best to get my health in check and my mind in check. Because nobody's gonna do it for me, I have to do it for myself. Yes, peeps. I have to do all this for myself. So, yes, guys, uh, we have successfully went ahead, both of us guys and all of you guys, <laughs> went ahead and cleaned up all these vegetables. What I'm going to do is to go ahead and wash back this container right here to, to drain the vegetables in, remove these. I'm going to show you guys right now the cutting process of it. My vegetables are all clean and nice, peeps. So what you want to ensure that you have my, my, what you want to ensure that you do is to cut these as fine as you can, reasonably because I'm going to use um, our meat in this, right? So you don't want it to be too chunky. This is how I do it. I put these together. You can do more than one at a time. I like to fold them over like this. Wrap them around. So you can see and cut. Fast. I'm being very creative and innovative this time. I'm so tired of eating the same thing over and over again. So why not if you're quarantined and you're at home and all these things. You can go ahead and be creative with your meals, you know. Yes. I'm going to slice these down and cut up all these lovely fresh vegetables in small pieces as I can this is such a healthy meal no doubt this is a healthy meal repeating the process once more guys All together, Hold it like this, turn it around, and cut. Be careful guys or you're using your knife. You don't want to put your knife too closely to your fingers. So please hang your knives with caution. I'm gonna slice these down once more like this. Hope you guys will try this meal. Trust me guys. It's gonna look good, taste good. Smell good or the all the goods that are in the book or the G O O D in the book. It's gonna have that good, 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 good thing to it. Hope you guys are learning from this also. What it looks like so far. Repeating the process as you guys can see.
Yes, guys, I know it's a lot of vegetable. I can have some of this for breakfast with some bread in the morning. Yes, for sure, for sure. But by the time it is all steamed down and everything, it won't be looking so much of a lot of vegetable. And you see me while you're cutting, it's not so much. My, my bowl is not as yet full, so it's not a lot of vegetable. So let us go ahead and cut up the rest of these. So guys, I have successfully went ahead and cut up all these lovely vegetables here. This is all of it, right? As I told you guys before, it might seem a lot on camera, but when I'm through with steaming this, all of this will be looking like nothing, to be frank with you. So what we're going to move on to is to go ahead and cut up the remaining vegetables that I'm going to place in this. I'll show you guys how I get these done. So, first of all, here I have some sweet pepper. I'm not going to use all of it, but I'm going to use just a little piece of it because we don't want it to be too spicy because we're going to go ahead and add the scotch bunny pepper in it. Removing the core of it, the seeds rather. You can see the core of the seeds. And we're going to go ahead and dice these up. Cutting these up right here. Yes, they are, these vegetables are already pre-washed, so if you're wondering, and I went ahead and sterilized back my cutting board. Here I have my scotch bunny pepper. I'm gonna use all of this wonderful scotch bunny pepper here. Put the season everything I love when my food is spicy keeps. I love spicy food. We have my tomato. I like to cut my tomatoes like this to check if they are okay. Yes, they are. I'm going to dice these in cubes. I got that from my mom, or she usually cuts um, her vegetables and double check if they're okay. Here I have my okras. We're gonna go ahead and check the okras like this. Always slice your okra down worse and check if they're okay. Last time I looked about pop chow, I didn't have any offer, so I'm really happy that I got some. So we can go ahead and prepare. I'm going to slice all of these at once, as you see. So we can cut these up one time. So trust me guys, if you try this meal, I promise that you will love it. So you here have all these lovely hookers on my cutting board. What I'm going to do is to dice them like these. Dice them up like these peeps. I don't want them to be like that. In my pot. As I said before introducing all type of flavors and vegetables to my daughter. So sometimes when kids see fruits and vegetables just big like that, they tend to not want to eat it, right? So let's slice these up. Let's slice these up. I'm gonna go ahead and put them right here. I want to ensure that if it's seasoned everything is going in my container we're going to move on to our carrots don't peel your carrots but you don't want your carrots to do it what you want to do is to scrape your carrots please 
is all of you. Such a colorful meal. So I see stone words. Going to go ahead and cut these up. vegetables trying to incorporate everything in it so when I do share my food I'm getting everything all protein all vegetables in this trust me guys I already pre-washed these vegetables already but I leave them in water so they don't oxidize these are all the carrots here. We're done to the experience. So I'm just putting the experience in it as an extra thing for more bursts of flavors. Folding this, wrapping it around, just like I will be cutting um up. Sorry, just like how I'll be cutting up. My pop show is the same process. You see the slime that is coming off my okra on my cutting board. Yeah, my onions. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut up my onions like this in my basket. We're gonna go ahead and use our rosemary and thyme to flavor up our dish right here. I don't want those stems to be let me put this a little bit closer to you guys. I don't want the stems in my dish right here. So I'm trying to pull. Some stems are going to pull the leaves off. Some stems are going to be in it. But I don't want much stems to be in it. Alright. So pulling these off. I'm going to use some of the rosemary also, not a whole lot, because you know that rosemary have a strong aroma and strong taste to it. This rosemary will do just fine. And last but not least, we're going to add two pegs of garlic to this. I love incorporate garlics in anything that I'm doing you know that garlics are good for the body especially for men they say that garlic is good for the the um, uh, man's sperm count right that's what they say that's what scientists say if you don't know about that you can go ahead and do your research guys let me go ahead and wash off my knife so here you guys have it. This is how I cut up my vegetables. So we're going to go ahead and season this right now. Season all these over vegetables with some black pepper. Because it's not only meat you season and put down. You season your vegetable and put it, put it down from your vegetables are pre-dry and all that. You season your vegetables so it don't oxidize. I'm going to use the Maggie all purpose seasoning it. I was just about to sneeze because of the black pepper. <sighs> I love to season my vegetables before preparation. It will do just fine. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this around with my fingers to incorporate everything. Right. Please be noted that our 
fish is already seasoned that is why I'm not going to use too much seasons on my vegetable here because they're going to get that burst of taste of season on the fish guys yes peeps so this is what it actually looks like look how lovely this vegetable is so we're going to leave this so marinate for a while i'm going to move on to frying up our fish right uh, some people would use this as fish fingers right now i'm going to show you guys the process and how i do it so guys it's about that time we're going to go ahead and get these fish all fried up and all beautifully crispy and nice so guys i've learned a trick recently if you want to know if your oil is really hot and it's also for seasoning and purpose also for anything that you're going to prepare what you can do is to burn a piece of garlic in your oil this is actually some used oil that i had before that i fried some fish with and i'm not going to let anything go to waste right so we're going to place some garlics cut some garlics in this pot so i'm seeing where the oil is up so we can go ahead and put these fish fingers in here and this is also as i said before for flavoring your oil so let me go ahead and get my lovely fish this is the fish all marinated all seasoned nice properly and done so I'm gonna actually use a spatula to remove them. I'm dropping them in my oil so they can go ahead and fry. Wow, guys. I wish you guys could have smell the aroma that is coming from my kitchen. It's so beautiful. Trust me, guys. These are so beautiful. What you want to do, guys, is to fry these as crisp as you can. Fry these as crisp as you can. Make sure that you're putting your fish on high heat. Yeah. Get this crispy and nice. So meanwhile, my fish is being fried. We're gonna move on to so go ahead and start cooking our dashing and our yam also, all right? So my fish are being fried. Oh, I want them. So far, so good. I'm smelling it and it's coming out lovely. So we're gonna move on to so cutting up this yam. I made a mistake <laughs> recently by not putting any bags over my hand. I don't have any gloves, unfortunately. So I'm gonna improvise and use a plastic bag to cut up my yam and such for it because last time I was having serious itching problem, right? So let's move on to cutting up our yam. This is a piece of yellow yam, guys. Want a few done words of this yam, and I also have a container right here. Two containers basically, one to wash and one to put my food in. Reason why I'm doing it like this is so that my food don't oxidize out fast. So I want to put place all my foods one time in my pot. So. Oh, yeah, I'm like this. Here I have my white yam that I'm going to cut. Nice piece of white yam. This is my favorite yam to eat. Actually, guys, my favorite, favorite yam to eat. part of the yam. To 
may seem a little bit awkward. It's best to be awkward in something sometime in life than to know something and do the wrong, right? So that's what I'm trying to do to protect my skin and protect myself as much as I can to get the right thing done, right? So put in this yarn like this. I do just fine. Yeah, I'm going to squeeze a bit. Comment in the comment section if you do like white yam or do you rather yellow yam. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. No, 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 no. Let me know. Fish are coming on perfectly fine. I'm smelling them. Fine. I need them to be crisp all the way out. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and check on the fish in a few. So I already went ahead and had my pot with some water. Remove the bad part of the yam. Already preheated with some water with some salt that's within it so these will be so ready to drop in my pot i'm going to show you the process as i go along i go about preparing my food yep. this fish is going to be so golden brown and nice and i'm so This is successfully done, as I stated before. So what I'm going to do is to wash these off and put them in some other water. Don't be, don't be worried of the color of it. They will be boiled out and looking lovely. Trust me, guys. I'm washing these off. This bag is going to be used to, to take off. I need to put some running water, turn it down, to take off, um, to remove the skins of the yam out of my sink. So, this part will be utilized. Just the same, just the same. Yes. So, here you guys have it my cut up ground food so we're gonna go ahead and check on these lovely fish yeah so my fish are all done i'm gonna go ahead and turn off my eat i went ahead and get a container right here with some paper napkins to suck up the most of the oil out of the fish look at this guys some lovely crispy fish right here just removing the fish guys I'm gonna show you guys in a few what it looks like removing the fish out of my oil and also the garlics look how we're gonna go ahead and reuse this pot this dish but for our vegetable I 
I'm showing that I'm getting all of my fish out of my pot, guys. So here you guys have it. My fish are all golden brown, just the way I want them to be poured into my pop chow. Um, as you see, the fish is soaking up. The Rather, the napkin, the paper towel is soaking up all these oil out of it. Right? Please be noted that everyone cooks differently. And I'm trying to be innovative as I stated before. So, yes. So we're going to go ahead and put our food in our pot. Right? I'm going to show you guys how I get this done. So, yes, guys. My pot is, has reached a boiling point for my yam and my dashi. So we're going to go ahead and put these in the boiling water. I already added my salt to it. Always preheat your pot. Don't put your food in your pot. Just like that, guys, as I told you before. So you speed up your cooking process on your meal also. I don't want this yam to touch my hands. I've learned the hard way. Mix this all around. So we're gonna leave this to boil, right? Until it is cooked. So let us move on to the process on how we're gonna steam our pork chow right now, okay? Guys, it has reached that point where we're gonna go ahead and start steaming our pork chow. This is what it looks like after marinating, peeps. I went ahead and add a couple more onions to this. So I went ahead and put a little tip of oil because we're going to use the margarine butter in it. So all you need is just a little tip of oil. So we're going to go ahead and pour this in. Throw a pop. Pop. Vegetables. Right now, I'm getting everything. I'm going to go ahead and get a part and mix this around. So powerful and lovely this for the seven dollars. We're gonna go ahead. This is a butter that I always use. We're gonna go ahead and add a piece of this butter to our pot so it can help it to steam and give it more flavor to your food. Just pulling off a little of this as I go. So here, I'm going to do this much. Right. That will do just fine. We're gonna add our pimento berries, just two little pimento berries, not a lot, for more flavor and taste, right? Remember, you don't cook pop chow all the way out. You want to have, let it have a crunchy taste, right? So we're gonna mix this, all these flavors all around. And we're going to cover this pot and let it steam for a little while and come back and check on it in a few, okay? So guys, we're going to go ahead and check on the progress on our pop show. Yes, guys. It's coming on 
for real real good I see where it does not want any water it has already gathered the water so what we're gonna do is do a little bit of taste test because remember I told you guys pop chow is something that eat crunchy you don't cook it all the way through mmm it tastes lovely so nice so we're gonna go ahead and add our fried fish to this look at that peeps look at that isn't this gorge look at that so what we're gonna do is to mix this around for it to soak through or cook down with the fish for you to get that taste and that flavor yeah So I'm going to let this sit for the next two minutes time. I'm going to turn off my flame. And the next time you see this, this will be all done for serving, guys. So here you guys have it. My pop chow with fish. Yeah, my fried fish. And my dashin, my yellow yam, and my white yam is all done guys look at this food well healthy beautiful you're not missing any of the food groups in this one meal here if you're not a fan of vegetable this is a very creative nice way how to do this guys i hope you will try it and let me get your honest opinion on how it tastes yeah and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend about this video. And hit that notification bell while you're at it too. Bye and see you in the next one. I'm going to have a nice dinner.